<clears throat> What's up guys? Today we are at the Bouncy Castle, aka my backyard ramp, and uh, we're going to be starting a new series where I don't leave this ramp until I land whatever trick I'm trying. Today we're going to be doing blunt kick flip out to fakie. Um, it's a trick I've done maybe once or twice in my life. Uh, I did it, done it on a bigger ramp before, but today I'm just going to do it on the smaller uh, quarter pipe over here because I haven't even been able to do regular blunt fakies in consistently in like a year, year and a half. So that should be a pretty tricky trick for me. Um, but yeah, um, you know, I think this is a cool idea for a series. It could take me, you know, 10 minutes. It could take me a few days. Um, whatever it is, I'm going to stick it out and uh, hopefully we can pull one out of my ass today so I'm not camping on the ramp. All right. I'm also not going to cut out any tries. I'm going to put in every attempt or whatever. Obviously, if my board goes off the ramp, I'll grab it. But um, yeah, I'm going to do a few warm ups just because I haven't skated today. First try. Oh, wow. I've been trying to do that trick like all week. I landed one yesterday. Let me do one more blunt thank you. Ah! I usually do them where I kind of fakey manual into the ramp. I usually can't pop the entire way, especially not on this little thing. There it is. All right, first try, first try. See, one thing about this trick is that might have looked close, but that's honestly like what happens almost every single time. The actual flicking and everything, it's not that hard because you can do a blunt fakie, you know, you can get into a blunt every time. You can do a kick flip. It's not that hard to flip it, but it's the putting them together, and especially on this little ramp, it's the like not landing too decked out where you just fall back and eat shit. You got to kind of flick it straight up and go back in. I'm going to stop talking. You just land this. Oh. Oh, oh that was kind of close. I'm going to put my feet down on this one no matter what. Oh, never mind. Oh, that was kind of two feet. Oh, that's going to be hard. Yeah, I've never done it on this rim. I've literally only done it on like a four foot quarter pipe. For some reason, like doing it on little ramps like this, just like doesn't work out. Ah, maybe actually I need to go farther to flat because it seems like all of them are kind of landing on the deck. Just to prove to y'all I can still kickflip. Damn it. We'll delete that out. Oh shit. Maybe this is what I should have chose. Oh no. Alright, right here. Best kickflip you've ever seen. Oh, that was it. That was it. Oh, okay. Yes. It's happening.
That was just lazy. I think I need to have my foot higher up because I feel like what I'm doing is having my foot here. I'm trying to do it like a normal kickflip and that's what's pushing the board, the board in front of me. So I feel like if I have my foot here and I almost do like a straight down kickflip, it would work better for me. Landed it right here. <laughs> this is honestly the longest I've tried like a single trick in probably like four years. <laughs> Whew. It's only been like, what, like 30, 40 minutes? <laughs> I committed. Give me one minute. One thing that's making this trick extra hard, and obviously I can make a million excuses, but the pure fatigue of just dropping into that ramp, coming up the middle ramp, and then hitting this ramp, which is actually about four inches taller than the quarter pipe on the other side. Every time I'm dropping in, I'm going up in elevation. So it's just a lot of pumping that you wouldn't have for a real mini ramp. Oh, that was it.
My legs are absolutely gelatin right now. This would have been so much easier if I just tried it on a three foot quarter pipe. This is taking way longer than I was expecting it to. And I got about 15 more minutes left in me. Um, oh, fuck that. I'm going to land this. Oh my god. I didn't think it was going to happen. So that pretty much concludes this video. Um, I had a lot of fun making it. Um, I don't know how long it took or how many tries, but I'll put a little counter up um, on the screen. Um, yeah, uh, let me know if you want to see more videos like this. Um, please feel free to leave trick suggestions and tips to how I can do these better because I, I, I'd like to not do it in 150 tries or whatever. <laughs> it's probably only like 50 tries, I don't know. But yeah, I'd like to be able to get them down. Um, so yeah, if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments. Um, let me know what else you want to see. If you like this video, if you want to see a different variation of it, um, let me know. Maybe we'll do a trick that's a little harder next time. I want to do back nose blunt, um, but I'm going to have to block out a couple of days um, to really camp out on the ramp if I'm going to want to do that one. Um, so yeah, thanks for tuning in and I will catch you next time.